Hi, it's Keith from E-Motors, and today I'm answering questions from the motor lubrication video I did last year. Specifically, should you grease your motor while it's running? When it comes to greasing your electric motor, it's best to do it while it's running and the internal grease is hot. The rotating shaft helps move the grease through the bearings. This ensures you get the right amount of grease in your motor. But one commenter asked, what about when you don't have the ability to run the motor? Like when you're doing preventative maintenance during a shutdown, for example. This is a great real world example. If you don't have the option to run the motor, what are your options? In this scenario, your next best option is to spin the motor shaft manually while greasing the motor. If you're going this route, make sure you're not over greasing or you'll get excess grease in your housing and windings, which is a pain to clean. Also, make sure your purge valve is removed to avoid over greasing. Once you have a chance, re-grease the motor when it's running. A follow-up comment on this thread asked if you should grease your motor until you see grease come out of the purge valve. This is not always an ideal approach since it could lead to over-greasing the motor. It's possible the extra grease will blow out the seal and get into your motor windings. This will impact the cooling ability of the motor as the airflow is blocked. Instead, consult a manufacturer manual for the recommended greasing amount and intervals. In some cases, grease may release out of the purge valve and for some motors it may not always follow a greasing schedule. Have follow-up questions? Contact our team at emotorsdirect.ca. Check out the full motor lubrication video for all my tips on greasing your motor. Thanks for watching. We'll see you next time.